heart disease is the number one killer. One reason is because of microplastics. Microplastics can accumulate in the plaque and arteries, in the arterial plaque. And it says that this can increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes and death. Hello, I'm Mary Colbert, and welcome to Dr. Don Colbert's Divine Health Broadcast. Today, we are going to be talking about some things that really affect your health. You need to hear this podcast. I'm telling you, there's a scripture that says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We want to bring you the most accurate information so that you and your family can live long and strong. We're in a society right now where disease is rampant, and we're beginning to understand why. Absolutely. I wrote a book over 20 years ago called Toxic Relief. But back then, we had no idea of all the different toxins we're exposed to. But now there's two we want to talk about today. The first, we're going to talk about our microplastics, Mary. These are little pieces of plastic debris, and they're like five millimeters in size, which is about 0.2 inches or less than a quarter of an inch. But many of these are nano size, one billionth that size. And these accumulate in the body, Mary. And so what they do is they affect organ and tissue functions. But a study out of the University of Newcastle in Australia found that the average person takes in, they take in approximately the size, the weight of a credit card of plastics every week. And uh, that's about five grams or 2,000 particles a week. And so these plastics, microplastics, are different from plasticizers. See, I talked about plasticizers in my book, well, in Toxic Relief, as well as I talked about them in the Hormone Zone, how they are endocrine disruptors. But this is plastic debris, and this is a major problem because they find, uh, on average, way we ingest this is through bottled water, plastic bottled water. Makes sense, Don. And pla- because and- those bottled waters... Um, they sit in warehouses where the temperatures sure. go way high in the summertime. And that plastic is leaching into the water. Exactly right. So this is, that all makes sense to me. And on average, a liter of bottled water, a liter, which is about a quart, contains at least 240,000 tiny pieces of plastic. And about 90% of these plastics were nanoplastics, which were 100 times more plastic particles than were seen in earlier studies. And these little microplastics are disrupting all kinds of cellular functions in our bodies, and they accumulate. And it's, and it's more difficult to get rid of because we're being bombarded by these every day. More, more and more people are drinking out of plastic bottles. Yeah. That's why I want to start drinking out of glass, glass bottles. We got in the habit of using plastic for years, uh-huh. but back 20 years, over 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I was drinking out of glass bottles. We've been using Mountain Valley Spring, but then we kind of switched because it was, they're harder to get, more expensive, but it's much better for you. Or you can get a reverse osmosis uh-huh. filter, uh-huh. but there's other ways. There's other cheaper filters. Now, the reverse osmosis filters, do they filter out? They filter out about 94 plus percent. Percent of, of microplastics. Yeah, they so do. they're great. Yeah. Okay. And so again, there's waters that you can get that are pure and have much less microplastics, but they're everywhere. They're ubiquitous. Every body of water on the earth has these. The I, oceans have them. I know Our that. Food and water. You know, the bottled water that the plastic is, you know, it's real. Right. Thin. Well, there's different it's, kinds of plastic, yeah. but all plastic bottles will eventually uh, release pl- nanoplastics. Even the hard Even plastic all, Yes, ones. yes. But that some release less than others. Those crinkly plastics release more. They have more of the phthalates in it that make the plastic softer. Yeah. And so they have more endocrine disruptors. In so them. we got to go to glass. We got to go well, to glass. Well, glass and stainless steel stainless are steel. the best. Right. Yeah. But realize it's in the air that we breathe because we have... Uh, many of these plasticizers in our home with vinyl and upholstery, it's in vinyl flooring. And so that's why it's important to dust and also vacuum and use an air purifier to reduce the amount of these microplastics. But by far, the most is in bottled water. Now, there's foods that contain a lot of these too. Would you guess what kind of foods contain the most? One's your favorite food, one of your favorites. I'm afraid to ask. The fruit that contains the most are apples, and you love an apple a day. <laughs> 
So just get organic apples. Yeah. Now, why do apples contain so much? Because the water and the fertilizers that they use are many times tainted with these chemicals. Mm -hmm. And also beer. Beer contains a lot of microplastics because it's, again, it's from the water that the beer comes from, from lakes and streams. See, lakes and streams have many more microplastics in them. The ocean has a lot, but the ocean is very big. But the lakes and streams where people get much of the water we use for beer and all, that's loaded with these microplastics. Salt, because salt is, uh, concentrates these microplastics in the salt of the sea. We get a lot of our salt from the sea. Now, is these microplastics a result that's in our waters? Yeah. A result from all the plastics? Yes, all the plastics we've been making for the last hundred or so years. Oh, geez. And the vegetable containing the most are carrots. They're the most contaminated vegetable. Both apples and carrots contain over 100,000 microplastics per gram. That's a lot. So choose organic if you're going to choose, uh, you know, carrots or apples. They'll have significantly less. They'll still have some, but they have less. Now, why is that? Why would, why would organic, they're getting water. I don't understand that. So why would they? Well, again, it's the water that it comes from. If it comes from water from ponds and if it comes from water from rivers, that water is going to have more. And then fertilizer, a lot of animal fertilizer. Has so what is water. the organic? So We're, organic uses natural fertilizers and not chemical fertilizers. Right. Chemical but they fertilizers the have water. They're... Yeah. So they'll still have some. You're right. They will. Oh, okay. So that's why we have to, we have detox measures to get rid of the, um, because you, you're going to get these right. microplastics. So we need to know how to get rid of them. Can we get rid of them? Yes, we can. Oh. So we're going to tell you how, okay? Now, also, shrimp, breaded shrimp of all the seafood has the most, but most all freshwater fish has lots of these microplastics in them. Oh. Ocean fish does too, but not as much as the freshwater fish. So just limit your amount of freshwater fish. If you have a lot of microplastics in your bloodstream. Well, most people it, do. It, it, They're associated with a lot of a lot of issues. But let's finish talking about other ways we get them. Uh, paint. Okay. Paint is full of microplastics. Well, nobody's going to eat. Well, you eat it because approximately 2.9 million tons of paint enters the aquatic environment every year to our river streams and oceans. No. Yes, and, and they're loaded with microplastics. Processed food is full of microplastics. So bacon and hot dogs and especially pork has lots of microplastics. And also it's found in cheese slices. They're especially high in microplastics. They're wrapped in the plastic. Mm -hmm. And microwave dinners, when you heat those microwave dinners up, Mary, it, re it releases a lot of microplastics into the food. So it's found in smaller fish have less microplastics like you know, uh, tiny Sardine. sardines and anchovies and mullet. Oysters, clams have low levels. Scallops have low levels. The larger fish tend to have more microplastics. We're seeing lots of these. It's mainly because of the foods we eat and the water we drink, but mainly from the plastic bottles that we drink, okay, water so, from plastic. Okay, let me ask you this. Okay, so it's obvious we can't get away from it. It's here. Yeah, it's here. It's, it, we've contaminated our environment with these microplastics. Okay. Right. So just on a practical level, because I want to, mm -hmm. you know, the attention span of people is really small. So let's, let's hit, if you don't mind, real quick, what would be the top things you would say to people to start cutting down their exposure? Because you can't do everything. What well, are the top again, things? I would get a, a good water filter in my home. You can get a reverse osmosis filter that filters out about 94% of these. Okay. You can get bottled water in glass bottles or stainless steel containers are good. Or a cheaper way would be to get a, a water filtration system on your faucet, like a zero water will help filter out it the majority will. of these. It will. It's not as good as reverse osmosis, but it's still good. And then vacuum. Use your vacuum regularly because it's in the air. It's your in, vacuum. Yeah, the vacuum. Vacuum up the particles because they go airborne and we inhale them. And oh, so we inhale wow. these, so a uh, good air filter, vacuuming frequently helps to get rid of these. And then- So, so we're ingesting these things? In the yes, air? it's going into our lungs, Mary. We're ingesting them, it's going through our gut, our GI tract. And so we just, we got to first decrease the intake of them is the major thing. And then we'll tell you how to detox from them. Okay. But they're linked to all kinds of diseases we need to know about. Number one, it's linked to cardiovascular disease. Heart disease is the number one killer. One reason is because of microplastics. Microplastics can accumulate in the plaque in arteries, in the arterial plaque. 
And it says that this can increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes and death. It also can uh, contributes to it. When you breathe it in, it inflames the lining of the lungs and it can actually eventually lead to lung cancer. When you ingest it orally uh, in the gut, it accumulates in the gut and can lead to colon cancer. So that's why these microplastics are dangerous. They can Wow, it, this is explaining why we're seeing such an uptake. Oh, exactly. I but, mean, we're living in a time we really do need to make America healthy again. We do. And the whole world. So not just America, because as America goes, goes the whole world. So I'm hoping that this video uh, program will be seen by millions because this is really an important step of improving your health. And these are some things we can actually do. So exactly, I'm really excited Mary. about But this. also infertility. Now we have so much infertility in this country in both men and women, especially in men, it causes infertility, decreased sperm counts. We're seeing decreased sperm counts in our men. A lot of that's due to these microplastics. They tend to accumulate in the testes of men. Wow. And so that's why there's so much ED. There's so why there's so much infertility in men, but also in women too. And so it also associated with inflammatory bowel disease because these go past mainly through the gut, the GI tract, and it can inflame the colon leading to inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis. Well, I can tell you, if a lot of people begin to watch this program, you're going to see people wanting to start a business of making glass. Glass exactly. coming back. And, and, and these water, good water filters, yeah. that's the key. And right. decreasing our processed foods, wow. uh, all these foods that tend to accumulate. Now, if, again, you're saying, well, th does that mean that I have to uh, eliminate all those healthy foods, apples and carrots, and also they accumulate in root vegetables? I'm sitting and, here thinking, or, just, or what about, hold on, I'm just sitting, my brain is sitting here going, okay, you know, we, you know, the baby bottles? Oh, yeah. That Plastic. we're giving the babies? Microplastics. You're setting them up. But, oh, but I haven't even gotten to that. Mom and dad, they're, they're associated to the glass bottles. Well, exactly. They're linked to, listen to this, growth impairments, cognitive impairments, and neurodevelopmental decline. Oh, my. When you're getting these kids on those plastic water bottles. Throw those plastic, plastic bottles out. Plastic microplastics are released. Get it rid of your intelligence baby's plastic of the bottles. Exactly oh, right. Oh, my Don, this is. But it's leading to obesity, to diabetes, and thyroid problems. Oh. It affects the thyroid. It affects the microbiome. It explains everything. Right. It, it affects the gut's microbiome. We wow. have the microbiome is 100 trillion cells in our gut that literally trains our immune system. Two-thirds of our immune system are located in the gut. So when you do that, it decimates the microbiome, and then our immune system falters. And we have I remember <laughs> when Kyle was a baby, I yep. would take, I had these little disposable lining plastic things. Horrible. Or, or, or. or they would heat up so easy. And I'm sitting here going, oh, my gosh. Lord, what we don't know, what but, we don't know is hurting But, but us. these microplastics mimic estrogen. And so that's why we have such estrogen effect in our males and our females. Oh, we're going to be Females going through. Again. Through, again. Our, our females are going months. through puberty earlier many wow. times through these microplastics. Wow. And uh, unusual weight gain in both children and adults. And they're saying they're following these excessive microplastics with the increase in obesity we have in this country. Yeah. And so now, how do we rid our bodies of these microplastics? That's a big question. People say, what do yes, we, first we have to decrease that's consumption. That's what they're thinking right now. Dr. Colbert, get to the point. How do we get this out? Well, again, we decrease consumption. Remember, a lot of fish, people are eating fish every day, sushi. That's a big craze. Well, fish is good for you. It is good for you, Mary, but they're loaded. Most large fish are loaded. Yeah, but with people are going to have to have fish. And that's why I have a little fish and do these detox measures, but don't have fish every day. Okay. The foods that mainly come from plastic water bottles. So just stop the plastic. Get, get some type of water filtration system on your home or get glass okay. bottles or use stainless steel. That's easy. Right. That's Simple. an easy fit. And then minimize or avoid foods that are high in microplastics. These are the foods. Number one are processed foods, most processed foods, anything processed. You go to a deli counter, processed turkey, processed ham, processed chicken, 
uh, bacon, uh, salami, pepperoni. That's, that's all processed food loaded with these plasticizers. Yeah. Also, apples and carrots have more microplastics than most any other food. Beer, chuck full of microplastics. Yeah, Excessive you salt. You can't, you can't get away from apples. And you right. So, again, carrots. use organic in just moderation. Don't use large amounts. Okay. Now, to detox your body from these microplastics, Mary, first, got to support right. the liver. The liver okay. is the main detox organ in the body. Okay. And so, uh, the liver support detoxification through, can take vitamin C, 500 to 1,000 milligrams twice a day. N-acetylcysteine or NAC, 500 milligrams twice a day supports liver detox. My favorite is glutathione. And my favorite glutathione is nanoglutathione. Our nanoglutathione. And I love this because it's only four squirts in your mouth twice a day. Yeah. And it supports liver detoxification. Right. And the other thing we want to do is we want to add more organic and fresh foods to our diet, especially those cruciferous veggies like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, which are um, detox. They help to detox the liver. Now, I do this nanoglutathione in the morning and at night. I do four under my tongue, you think? Well, I do, good? yes. Men, uh, women do four. Men should do six or seven. I personally do seven twice a day because we're loaded. And it doesn't things. taste bad. It's not. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's not at all. Now, the other thing we have to do is we have to, because we get, we, we ingest these through the air, through the water every day. We need to bind them. And so fiber is important in binding these um, microplastics. So, uh, what fiber does, it helps to bind toxins and it helps to increase intestinal transit time. So it literally flushes it out of the body. And so I, that's why I take my fibers on. We have a berry and a, a lemon lime flavor twice a day. I take a heaping teaspoon in the morning with four to eight ounces. So of you're really oh. concerned about these. Mary, these are huge. They, these are huge. You, I've, you know, as you prepared for this show, I could hear you going, Oh man, Mary, you I don't understand. About twenty years, researching twenty something years ago, when I wrote the book Toxic Relief, we had no, hardly, very little information on microplastics that we have now. Right, and we didn't realize the huge problem these are. Wow, these are messing up the body. They're messing up. They're messing the immune system up, the GI tract, the liver. It's just we got to get rid of these. And the key way to do it, just a few key simple things, just switch waters. Identify the major issues, the processed food, the carrots, the apples, the fish, excessive fish, and just limit those and choose more organic uh, foods that are the best for you. And then quit using so much plastic. So many people are cooking in plastic. They uh, microwave and they put their food in plastic Ziploc baggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they so do you think the Ziploc baggies and freezers is not good? Not at all, Mary. They're plasticizers. And then I wait till we talk about forever chemicals. Those are even scarier than microplastics. But then what you want to do is you want to uh, then improve your air quality, vacuum regularly, use a good you know air filter to filter the air in your your house, and then especially filter your water. And uh, now even carbon block filters are good or effective at helping to remove some microplastics. But the best would be the, you know, by far the reverse osmosis filters. Those are the best. You know, I know this is a lot of information that you have just been dumped on. Uh, and you, you, you may be sitting there going, where do I start? What do I do? Um, it's you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. I, I'm. For us, we went to all glass in we our did. house. We have got glass bottles. Uh, we we do, have a water dispenser. We do the Mountain Valley. And they deliver. And they deliver it to us. What's great about this one is we deliver it in the glass, and they have the dispensers now where the water, you just put it in at the bottom. You don't have to lift it up. See, the, we yes, went to right. plastics because it's lightweight. Mm-hmm. It's easy. It's cheaper, cheaper not uh, cheaper. Cheaper on uh, shipping, shipping weight, the whole deal. I get it. But at the compromise of your health, you got to start somewhere. Well, that's so, the big thing, Mary. Yeah. Just try and reduce your plastic usage. Right. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not drinking out of plastic bottles anymore. If you go to the gym, take a stainless steel container. I know glass containers may break, so take a stainless steel container. Right. And just get, you know, if you need to, just get a reverse osmosis filter or a zero water. Or, I, I like the Mountain Valley spring water. And I tell you what, you pray and you ask the Lord to direct your footsteps in this matter. You pray about it and God will show you things. 
Thank you for watching.